Hello guys this is Shiraz Amazing Videos. Review of the Chrysler Pacifica. The minivan, the SUV of its day, still has legs in the age of utility vehicle dominance, and the Pacifica is its archetype. Appropriate things. Excellent utility, thoughtful engineering, and good handling. Inappropriate things. Expensive. FWD only hybrid vehicle with overly sensitive auto brake sensors. Preview. It's the Chrysler Pacifica, the only vehicle that the disintegrating remains of one of the erstwhile, big three, American automakers still sell. It's been long enough that most people may have forgotten about the 2008 automotive crisis, but to put it briefly, it was a difficult period for everyone, with Chrysler perhaps going through the most significant changes as a result. While GM and Ford managed to survive in different ways, Fiat acquired Chrysler and its subsidiary brands, which were subsequently renamed Fiat Chrysler and Stellantis. Presently, inexplicably, Chrysler as a brand endures thanks to the Pacifica and any Chrysler 300 sedans that remain in production. Naturally, of course, the three-row minivan Pacifica is available as a plug-in hybrid or as the standard combustion-powered model. Depending on the trim level and configuration, the standard Pacifica's 3.6-liter V6 engine generates 287 horsepower that can be transferred to either or all of the wheels via a 9-speed gearbox. AWD is available on all gas-powered Pacificas except the base model. The same 3.6-liter V6 engine powers the hybrid, but when paired with its two electric motors for support, it only produces 260 horsepower overall. This model has a 16 kWh battery pack to help extend the range, a CVT transmission, and only front-wheel drive. It's funny that you inquire. Although the Pacifica excels at its primary function as a large people-moving vehicle, it also cleverly expands on its mandate. Because the engineers and designers are familiar with their clients, they have incorporated multiple approaches to address the types of problems that arise for those who manage large families. Parental control tools such as a fam cam allow parents to monitor their children from the front, with the ability to focus on individual seats for closer inspection if there seems to be a problem. Numerous sources of distraction are provided by the integrated Blu-ray player and connectivity-enabled streaming services. External devices can be charged and plugged in via multiple inputs, outlets, and charging ports. There are also many creative analog answers to the issues of life. Notable features include the Pacifica's built-in vacuum, which is designed to instantly remove crumbs, and most seat folding mechanisms that can be operated with one hand, allowing users to arrange the space they require while carrying a child or a heavy load. Little details like the umbrella gutter by the door and the abundance of cubbies to store a variety of commonplace items quickly become appreciated. To keep bags and other items from rolling around in the roomy cargo area at the back, the non-hybrid even features floor-mounted stow-and-go compartments. The way the Pacifica handles is among its biggest surprises. Despite being a far cry from a sleeper sports machine, it's strangely good considering the whole stigma surrounding miserable minivans. When running errands quickly or when there's a road to enjoy on the way back after them, it's a welcome discovery. If you can keep up with some of the sportier cruisers that are out and about, you might even surprise other drivers. Apart from that, the Pacifica's modest power is sufficient for its tasks, and the ride is neutral throughout regular operations. Verdict. The minivan, the SUV of its day, still has legs in the age of utility vehicle dominance, and the Pacifica is its archetype. Oddly, the Pacifica now bears the Chrysler nameplate, which was once a powerful symbol of the minivan's quality and durability. Put all the emphasis on the segment you want, but the minivan, the SUV of its era, still has a place in the age of utility vehicle dominance, and the Pacifica is the best of them. In particular, every family hauling issue you might run into is addressed by the Pacifica's careful engineering from top to bottom. It can manage large volumes of passengers and cargo with ease, but it can also handle small issues like where to put your umbrella, how to watch over a group of kids, or even how to quickly clean up after them. The Pacifica's car-like handling, which almost obscures its size, is a pleasant surprise when it comes to driving dynamics. The old Pacifica isn't being taken for leisure cruises, but it has enough grace to satisfy those running errands in a hurry. 
It is still expensive, though, and it shares some features with SUVs that are more capable of handling uneven terrain and have comparable use cases. In any case, it's a formula that works and that Chrysler has been honing since its launch, and hopefully it will be incorporated into Stellantis' plans for the future of the iconic brand.